Well, this may be a little hard to hear for some of you, but the five steps is not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hi, my name is Jason Sage. I'm the minister with the North 2nd Street Church of Christ here in Clarksville, Tennessee. You are always welcome to come and worship God with us. We call our series Three Minute Gospels. Let's put ourselves on the clock and here we go. Well, what do I mean when I say, hear, believe, repent, confess, and be baptized, that those things do not make up the gospel? Well, they don't. They make up man's reaction to the gospel. But if we don't start with the story of God's love, we can't hear, believe, repent, confess, and be baptized. So let's start there with the fear of God. Yes, the fear of God. Proverbs 1 and 7 tells us the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Well, in this case, it's the beginning of the gospel as well. Because God is holy, he cannot stand sin. I'm a human, I have sin, and my sin deserves death. That's our problem. Romans chapter 3, verses 20 through 23 describe how we can't keep enough laws to earn our way into heaven, and that we all have sin and fall short of the glory of God. If we shall fall short of his glory, we deserve death. What a dark place without hope in the world. There's no way we can make it to heaven. No way, no way we can stand before God. But God, who is just to judge us and both our justifier, sent his son out of his personal love and mercy, sacrificed his spotless lamb, Jesus, on the cross, not for him, not for Jesus, but for me, so that I might be forgiven even though I'm guilty before him. That's the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus proved we can have eternal life. We can go live with God in heaven. How did he prove that? Because when he died, God resurrected him and he ascended to go make a home for us with his father in heaven. That's good news. That's the gospel. Let's look at how Paul describes it in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, beginning in verse one. Paul says this, now I would remind you brothers of the gospel I preached to you which you received in which you stand. Now look down in verse three, he describes this gospel. He says, for I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the 12, then he appeared to more than 500 brothers at one time. The death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ prove that there's a sacrifice stronger than the blood of bulls and goats, the sinless blood of Jesus Christ, capable of forgiving my sins, that even though Christ died and suffered, that he rose to live again forever. If I am to hope in eternal life, don't I need an example? Don't I need a forerunner? Don't I need a lamb? Don't I need forgiveness? For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that he who believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. God is so good.